Day four of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin's trial featured testimony from George Floyd's longtime girlfriend, as well as from first responders who attempted to resuscitate him after his fateful encounter with police. And you're going to learn all about it in today's episode. I'm Joshua Roberts, attorney at law, and you are watching Lawyer Up. In today's episode, we're going to look at the testimony of George Floyd's girlfriend. We're going to hear from both paramedics who were at the scene, and we're going to hear their opinion as to whether George Floyd died at the scene or when he was later pronounced dead at the hospital. We're also going to hear from the supervising officer that day and get his opinion on Officer Chauvin's action. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you prefer me in your ear rather than your eye, then we're available on all major podcast formats. So let's get to it. It is day four of the jury trial, and Courtney Ross takes the stand. That is the longtime girlfriend of George Floyd. And she candidly admits that both her and Floyd had battled opioid addiction. Both became addicted to pain pills to combat pain. Hers was in her neck and Floyd's was in his back. And she admitted on cross-examination that George Floyd had been hospitalized for what was rumored to be a heroin overdose just two months prior to his death. Now, that's just a rumor. And Ross stated that she did not personally know what drug Floyd had ingested to cause the overdose. She then described the iconic George Floyd photo that we've all seen as a selfie that he took at the Salvation Army where he worked. And she also described George Floyd as still grieving from the loss of his mother who had died a couple of years earlier. Then the two paramedics that were at the scene took the stand. Well, one at a time, not together. The first one was Seth Bravender or Bravender. I've heard it pronounced both ways in the national media, so forgive me if I mess up the pronunciation of some of these names. So Seth arrives at the scene and he said he had to actually ask Officer Chauvin to get off of Floyd's neck so that he could begin resuscitation. Once he began, he described Floyd as unresponsive without a pulse, and that he appeared to be in cardiac arrest. He testified that they actually had to load Floyd into the ambulance to begin resuscitation because of the angry crowd that had gathered around the scene. His partner, Derek Smith, testified that during the examination, Floyd's eyes were dilated, he had no pulse, and he said, and I quote, in layman's terms, he was dead. Then former Minneapolis Police Sergeant David Ploger, is how it, I've heard it pronounced, who was the shift supervisor at the time of the incident, he testified that based upon his review of the body cam footage, he believed that the use of restraint on Floyd should have ended when he was no longer resisting. And if you recall from day one testimony, it was that these blood choke restraints were meant as short-term maneuvers to incapacitate, and they are dangerous or deadly if they're used over a prolonged period of time. Well, that was the end of the testimony on day four, and that concludes this update episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, smash that like button for me, and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get all of the updates as to each day of the trial as it progresses. I thank you for watching. My name is Joshua Roberts, and you've been watching Lawyer Up. Send lawyers, guns, and money.